two old friends of the show have returned to the airwaves. Larry Kudlow and Art Laffer. Larry <laughs> in his new debut on Fox Business, replacing Lou Dobbs, making the stupidest case of all time. Not a surprise. Let's take a listen. When you look at two trillion, you just ask yourself, how many zeros are there in a trillion? And you have to go 12 zeros to get trillion. It's a huge amount of money. Uh, you know, everyone talks about being in favor of this. The polls right now are in favor of it. Frankly, I'm looking at the polls after it's been in place and you've had a crash in the market or something like that. Then see how many people like the huge indebtedness that the U.S. is going to be in. What a good administration should do is balance things out. I think we still have a trillion left over, Larry, from the stimulus package before. I mean, something on the order of that level. Uh, two trillion is just way too much. We've gone from a debt level of 84 percent of GDP now to 115 percent of GDP. And it's continuing to rise. I think this does not make sense. Anything on health care, uh, that makes a lot of sense. It does to me. Anything for jobs creation, that would be good. But that's a lot less than even a trillion dollars. That's, that would be a small amount compared to the two trillion. I think it's a killer of the long run economy of the U.S. I am dumber for having watched that. And Crystal, <laughs> those are the two geniuses who lost Trump the election in 2016. True. True. No question about it. Larry, the virus is contained. Actually, we're coming up on one year on that clip. So congratulations, Larry. Uh, you were right 100%. This man, I cannot think of somebody I probably despised more who worked there, alongside Art Laffer and his buddy Stephen Moore, who fed the president and many of those other people this idiocy. And look, First of all, Art Laffer, a professional economist, how many zeros are in a bill? Uh, what? Oh Do you think that that's intelligent commentary? But beyond that, oh, it shows like, what contempt you have for the people that you think you're talking so, to. It is so true. And you go and you look how well, I'm going to wonder what the polls are going to be after. Yeah. Name me one voter who's like, you know what? They spent too much money during the pandemic. And actually, I can find you what those numbers are. It's 80, 20, 20 percent. The only of Americans think that the stimulus package is too big. There are double the number, 40 percent of Americans who think the stimulus package is too small small rather than think it is too big. And right. so it just outrages me watching Larry Kudlow, the dumbest person in the White House, ascend to the Fox business program, apparently the time slot, which is the highest rated in order to spew this outrageous nonsense. It really is. It, it's, it's crazy it, that they allow him to return and that he gets no pushback whatsoever. My only happiness in this is that it landed with a dud and the, I'm apparently the only person who even noticed what happened on his show yesterday. <laughs> In fairness, yeah. yeah, in fairness, the highest ratings on Fox Business right. is a very low bar. Right. So, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> so yeah. Fox News has always been, right. you know, a juggernaut, although <laughs> even that is slipping. But Fox Business is a very different story altogether. Cudlow is an attempt by Fox to try to square the circle of, like, elite consensus support and Trump support. Since he was in the Trump administration, they assume he's got, like, you know, trump base acceptability. Yeah. Yeah. But then he has the terrible economics, like li radical libertarian free market fundamentalist economics that the elites who have aligned themselves with the Republican Party love. So he's an attempt to square that circle. And that's how you end up with disastrous situations mm -hmm. like this one. I mean, yeah, you're exactly right. Eighty percent of the country thinks that the, either the stimulus package is just right or not enough, 80%. So you are aligning yourself with a tiny minority of the country that is worried about spending too much. And by the way, with Art Laffer's like, oh, just wait, mm -hmm. just wait to see what it's the polls fake. say it's after fake. the markets crash or after the inflation or whatever. They have been threatening for decades that, this, that spending mm -hmm. is going to lead to all of these disastrous consequences. Where is it, guys? Hasn't happened yet. We haven't seen it yet. So they are so, such a minority of public opinion at this point that it's absolutely pathetic. And you're right. Yeah. Larry Kudlow is if if Trump had actually been serious about getting checks, if he got another round of checks out of the door, zero doubt, zero question, zero doubt that he would have been reelected. Yeah. It came down to a few tens of thousands of votes. And these two geniuses are still floating their plan, which all which was proposed by Trump at the time in order to do a massive payroll tax cut, not a permanent one, one that would have to be paid back God, later. So which that. means that businesses would have to hold on to the money so that they could pay it back later. This is Stephen Moore and other people's real genius idea, because, you know, when 30 million people are out of work, what you do is you put a payroll tax cut in, even though that only 
affects people who are on mm. payroll. So I, a lot of my brilliant uh, plan. A lot, you can tell a lot of my hatred over the last year is beginning to come out. <laughs> I think it came out um, over at the time. I think it's a disgrace that this man has a television show, but there we are. Okay, that's I'm looking forward to her, her talker. That's next.